Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. I am Hominid Digital, and this is Gregory Warcry, a young wizard with ambitions to become a better wizard. Despite being a fifth year and a first year at the same time, As you can see, we've got our amazing dragon skin coat you receive for kicking the living sh out of some dark wizards. All my badass spells. Expelliarmus. And Expelliarmus thereafter. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Give me Moonstone. I don't think I can even use that yet. Moonstone. Let's go to flying class. Because walking around on foot, that's for chumps. That's for lame wizards. We need wings, baby. Oh. Some undead. Oh boy, let's remember how to do everything. Incendio. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have uh, a little bit of curse now. Ooh. Oh, I did not notice that troll there. Um, well, Rebellion. there we go. <laughs> Go ahead and keep doing that, bud. Bring it on. both. Bogies, troll. I guess we'll just take care of these river trolls first. Stupid. 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 Stupid.
could stand to learn a few things from forest trolls. They don't have any of the unblockable attacks, apparently. to explore further down here since this seems to be a dangerous route. But then we'll go to flying class. Oh, there's some animals. I don't have any any way to uh I don't think I do. No. No, later on we'll be able to interact with animals in a very special way. But for now, we cannot. And this, look game, this game looks even better now that it's in 4K. I was able to watch it in 4K, but I wasn't able to record it in 4K until now. Cotton grass dug bog. Oops, I should probably dodge. Holy crap, look at that. I haven't seen this area. Oh cool, the uh, Thestrals are here. You can only see those when you've been close to death. I'd love to ride one. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here for this gigantic skeleton that's just over here for some reason. <laughs> what in the hell was this? Is this is a dragon skeleton? That's insane. <sighs> Let's go back to Mac, Mac. The Hogwarts. Hogsmeade, forbidden. Hogwarts Mac. Hog, Hogsmeade Mac. The, the bell tower wing. Fly, exit, exit. The bell tower, the bell tower wing. Bell tower courtyard. The bell. Broomsticks are so out of date. I'd rather try Okay, to okay, guys. Anyway. Stop talking. Stop talking. Piss me off. Uh. Is that Luke and Duggleby or whatever? What's his uh. name? My brother just started Hogwarts in the Gryffindor. Incendio. Oh. I'll teach you. Go get that waypoint.
Oh, flu flames, I mean. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? You. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. I'm like the only student that doesn't wear... Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Clothes. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! <laughs> Just gonna sit here, like, holding my hand over it. Can I do it without saying it? Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okie dokie. Good. Stick to now, in a direction. for your first lesson, right fly through each ring descent. in the courtyard. <laughs> Do take, take some care. Getting used to. The brooms are school property. I wish I had my own. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This Hold next right set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Hell yeah! Huh. That wasn't too bad. Hmm? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yeah, rub it in my face. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Hi, I don't have any toast. Ha! <laughs> this is rather fun! No. <laughs> I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Dude, where are you going? Nice to get above it all, isn't it?
Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Left trigger for a burst of speed by the <laughs> Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Has already dismissed class. Better Each hurry and hand in our brooms. Now, how did that happen? Dismount here. We, she just blew the whistle. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> okay. Favoring me, I guess. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. A frame rate drop just getting close to his face. Hmm. That's a very bouncy run. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. Well, let's go to Hogsmeade. Yep. Uh, we're not doing that quest right now. Hmm? Oh. You must. Utility. D why? Press right trigger. You must. You record. Just right put all of these. Hold to assign. On there. Three. Take a little extra gold. Let's get our broomstick. Stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Nice bludger. Rebellion. Spine twitches sporting needs. 
guide pages. Run by the Amoya Bural by weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albi himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Eh. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good, uh, reliable amount of gossip there, since he is. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albi Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I'll have a look. Thank you, thank you. Disrupted trade routes made you close. Thank you for... Disrupted trade routes made you close. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. I'll have a look. Thank what else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. I'll have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Ember Dash Broom. Um. The perfect broom for those with a you weave a broom. Hogwarts House Broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. Moon Trimmer Broom. Finely crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Wind Wisp Broom. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Hog, you weave a broom. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Cost. Sure. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise Galleons. you. I want the one that people are afraid to have. Purchase. Why? Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds worth a try, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you beat Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hogsmeade and certain other areas prohibit flying. Look for the no-flying icon near the minimap to learn where and when you can fly. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. You have entered an area that allows flight. Yeah. Press left Oops. bumper, <laughs> then tap B to equip the yeah. broom on your turn. B. B. Uh, come on. Select. There we go. Oh yeah. Interesting.
I didn't pay attention to how far away this is, so it might be a little ways. Oh, yeah, it's just over here. Not that bad. Hey, you! Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff always has another mystery to discover. If I don't find a way to compliment... Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. That's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. You know you don't need to have an attitude just because you're you're uh, Slytherin. Made it. Brilliant. Oops. Oh well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not always easy to control. Oop. Oop. Success. I'm not gonna be doing any best times if we keep wobbling around like this. Chopping is not helping. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good. I've got this. Yay. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Well, you haven't exactly made me want to earn your respect, but I'll just say all right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Return to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the ranks of the leaderboard. No, thank you. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. 
free. I'm definitely not interested in trying to challenge a bunch of people who spend all their time trying to be the best at flying brooms. Good on you if you've got the top score, but I do not care enough to try for that. I'm not interested in competing in that. Last racing game I tried to compete and get top spot in was probably uh, Hydro Thunder Hurricane. I was in like 300 in the world for a while. That was for the uh, the first uh, level. Hey, how that? Shut up. It is available. Stop saying that. With something to report, I am. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Can't wait to hear more. Who has doubted? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Can't wait to hear more. Goodbye. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Pretender might seem like harmless fun, but not when you just have your hands on like a lion. Then you have a moment of the time to run. Level 17. Hmm. Back. Okay. Qu quest. Quests. Let's see who else had something. Demanding delivery. Gobs of gobs. Spell combination. Gobs of gobstones. And the room of requirement in the shadow of the undercroft. I. The room of in the shadow of the un. A. Yeah. Untrack quest. We're doing that. Y. Level. Inventory. Map. Map. Definitely want Oxy. some confringo. Collection chests. Hogwarts map. Confringo. Let's get our confringo on. Over here. Huh? Oh, what? what are you doing standing over there? I'm right behind you. Turn around, dude. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. 
Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Are, are you gonna use it first? You know I've never been in there before, so how would I know how to use it? All right. I guess I do know how to use it. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, Lumos. keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. We. Man, the lighting looks good. Ah, that's well stacked cauldron. Oh, what was that? Ah, <laughs> I thought there was more to that. Well, that's certainly got to be something. All right. Teach me. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family, a direct descendant of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. Mm. Sure. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Z. 
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? You must. Right trip. Conquering. Right trip. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Oh, yeah. Have a go at those candelabras. Go. Both have their uses. Blast. But I think Certain you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Oh, the ones that aren't lit, okay. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Confringo! Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, hey, when you yes, do know, you do tell know. me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okie dokie. Confront them! Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Sebastian showed me. Um... Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, 
and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I promise not to say anything. No need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. This is an odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. Reward. The room. The room. You. The Astronomy Wing. The Astronomy. The Room of Requirement. Astronomy Tower. The Astronomy. Let's go there. Keeping one force, one control, and one damage spell in your spell set will prepare you for most combat scenarios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Down a layer. That's the Weasley. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh yeah. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going in there. I'm going in there first. Show me it's not a trap and then I'll go in. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Man, they did such a good job on the art. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Mm okay. That's an awfully slithery spell you're teaching me. Ivanisco. Splendid. Now, come. You must. Utility. Reparo. Why? Assign top. Why? Assign top. B. Assign right. Go on those chairs. 
Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got I to. I waited for you here for ages. I can't Perhaps believe you were it's still a few here. More inches of I'll just take a quick expected. look at this. Let Give you an opportunity you to, to explore to on again. your own until we locate Sincerely. Deke. Deke. Yes, Professor. B. What you got in there? Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, I see. Levioso. Accio. Not the way I was supposed to do this. Okay. A dark sun hat. Whee! Mmm, mystery tea. Oh, I see. I see. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Repair him. Oh, come on. Should be able to repair him. It offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. It only gives you what you require. Nothing else. So you offended yourself. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I don't know. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Yeah. 
killed. Hey, what? I hear. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Is that a beehive? Pretty sure it's some kind of hive. Come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Imagine it just turns into a giant torture chamber. And it's like, oh, 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 oh. That must have been an accident, right? given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Yes. Well, we are coming to the end of the video here. We'll be learning more about the Room of Requirement in the next video. Grigori Warcry is steps closer to being the greatest wizard 
of the Hufflepuffs. Until next time, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and have a good day. Bye bye